Lesson 31. I am not the victim of the world I see. Hi there. Are you ready to make your own personal declaration of independence today? This might be one of the most impactful lessons of the entire course for many of us, and potentially one of the most powerful teachings we can learn in life. Let's open our ears and minds to carefully listen to Lesson 31. I am not the victim of the world I see. This is indeed our Declaration of Independence, and we are making a conscious effort to actively proclaim it today, and harness the power of these words and our intention. As with yesterday's practice, the idea should be applied to both the external world around us and the internal world within ourselves. Essentially, we're affirmatively stating that we are not victims of our circumstances or the various conditions we encounter in our surroundings. Moreover, we're not victims of our internal world either, be it thoughts and feelings that bind us, convictions and beliefs that limit us, or distortions and biases that prevent us from seeing the truth as it is. We are not victims of the worlds we see, both outside and inside. I am not the victim of the world I see. Today, we're introducing a new structure to our daily routine, which we'll follow for a considerable portion of the course. We'll continue with frequent applications of the daily idea throughout all waking hours. In addition, we'll incorporate two longer practice periods, ideally one in the morning and one at night. For today, let's aim for three to five minutes for each of these extended practice sessions. Here's what to do. We'll start by slowly looking around, repeating the idea to ourselves two or three times. I am not the victim of the world I see. I am not the victim of the world I see. I am not the victim of the world I see. Afterward, we'll close our eyes and apply the same principle to our inner world. We will free ourselves from both our inner and outer worlds together, because the inner is the cause of the outer. Let's repeat this concept in the words of today's lesson. You will escape from both together, for the inner is the cause of the outer. It'll be worth remembering this concept. We've already worked on it when reiterating for example that projection comes before perception and that our perceptions are heavily shaped by our projections. As we observe our inner world unfold in our minds, let's simply allow any thoughts that arise to enter our awareness. For each thought, consider it briefly before letting it go allowing it to be replaced by the next. No attachment, no hurry. Let's just watch them come and go, as dispassionately as possible. Let's avoid becoming entangled in any single thought or dwelling on any one in particular. Let's allow the stream of thoughts in our mind to flow smoothly and calmly, with no investment whatsoever. Let's quietly observe the parade of thoughts passing through our mind, repeating from time to time, today's idea to ourselves as frequently as desired, yet without any hurry. And that's how we'll spend the three to five minutes of today's two extended practice periods. Besides these sessions, let's make an effort to repeat today's idea as often as we can. It's important to remind ourselves of its significance. We are proclaiming our declaration of independence, for our own liberation and for the freedom of the world. Because as today's lesson states, In your freedom lies the freedom of the world. If any particular temptation arises today, whether it's the temptation to see ourselves as victims or to indulge in feelings of upset caused by our external or internal world, let's try to use today's idea to respond to it. We might find it very helpful to resist these temptations and avoid getting trapped in them. I am not the victim of the world I see. I am not the victim of the world I see. I am not the victim of the world I see. How empowering was this lesson? Doesn't this personal declaration of independence offer you newfound strength to approach your life from a fresh perspective? Doesn't it make you feel more in control over both your external and internal worlds? You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another empowering lesson. Quick reminder, 
If you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.